Developers are pausing work on a new tourist attraction after the state called attention to the fact that the building sits on a burial site. The attraction is built around death rituals in New Orleans. Rachel Hanley explains the history of the site and what will happen to the project next. Once roofers are done at 351 Basin, the property will go silent as the grave. That's partly because it is one. Developers plan to turn 351 Basin Street into an interactive museum to highlight New Orleans death rituals like second lines and above ground tombs. Feelings about the project were mixed from the beginning. Sounds interesting, definitely. Um, we'll see how it plays out. Then late this year, a state official sent a letter to the Housing Authority of New Orleans, which owns the building. It pointed out that the cemetery used to be bigger, and there are still a lot of burials in the surrounding area, including under that building. The remains are actually why the building is even there to begin with. It used to be part of the Iberville housing project built almost 100 years ago. After Katrina, it was set to be torn down like the rest of the development. But during the process, human remains were found, so the building was left alone. In 2022, Barry Kern of Kern Studios and real estate developer Joe Yeager applied for a permit to redevelop the building. They told the Times-Picayune New Orleans advocate that they wanted to create, quote, death meets Disney. The developers submitted a map to the city showing where the human remains likely are. The spot is behind me, just outside the back left door of the building. In the letter this year, the state asked Hanno to discuss and resolve the existing cemetery issues before the ground was disturbed on the site. It's still unclear why the letter was sent to Hanno rather than the developers. Other than lease of the land, we don't have any involvement with the development. In a joint statement, Kern and Jaeger said they've invested more than a million dollars in the site already. They said it was their decision to put the project on hold until there's further clarity about the site. People who live and work nearby are glad the developers are being careful with the project. As long as they keep it authentic, I don't think it's a problem. Thomas Edwards sees the building every day when he goes to work next door at Back of Town Coffee Parlor. He says as long as the attraction is respectful, he looks forward to the business it will bring in. I don't want it to be gaudy, don't need to be tasteless, don't need to be something more exaggerated than it needs to be. But it could be a while before we find out what it looks like. Kern and Jaeger say they're going to focus on other projects in the city for now, while the situation with the remains is being figured out. Rachel Handley, WWL, Louisiana. 351 Basin is not unique. There are a lot of buildings in New Orleans built on top of old cemeteries. Human bones and pottery shards were found underneath two of the Superdome's parking garages.